Hello, my name is Scott for SB Gaming, and welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2. We are here with our Iveco Stralis, and in the last episode, we had done a delivery from Christensen to Glasgow, delivering tracks for a profit of 30,808, and we got 1,238 experience, and we drove 955 kilometers. Our total driven distance is 20,189 kilometers. Driven distance on duty, 19,761. We've done 428 kilometers of free roam. And we've explored 34.96% of the map. Yeah, about that. Anyway, at the end of the last episode, I think I was mentioning about a delivery from Glasgow to Paris. It is an urgent delivery and it offer expires in 12 hours 55 minutes I actually need to rest in about two hours and actually I need to rest about the time this jo other job here expires going to Malmo I'm considering this just because $39,000 it pays 46.11 per kilometer and this only pays 32.76 a kilometer and uh, 32 is a lot less than 46 and I'd be driving basically a thousand kilometers, or not, not a thousand, 200 kilometers more, well 270, yeah, roughly, 270 kilometers more and making $3,000 less. So I want to do the highest paying jobs for the least distance. So this is really my best shot at something. I have already been to Malmo, but uh, there are a few cities along the way. Carlisle, um, Odense, Copenhagen, and then a few roads in Malmo that we could explore. We've taken this ferry a couple times. I've gone this way twice, and now we've been taking it back that way. And I really need to use more of the ferries, but uh, this is a standard delivery, and it is an ADR Class 6. Uh, do I really want to? We are here at the quarry, so we can pick this up right now and head on out. But then, of course, I'd have to take a yeah, rest quickly after. Hmm. Do I want to go all the way down here, pass through Birmingham? It is, unfortunately, an urgent delivery, which means, of course, I'm not going to be able to do any extra driving. Urgent usually means you're going to be coming down to the wire. And a standard delivery allows you to do a little bit more sightseeing. So, yeah, I think I want to take this one. Alright. Now, the last time... Okay. Let's try and figure out where I am. Oh yes, I dropped off the cargo here. going to need to rest in two hours six minutes the job expires in about that amount of time we have 939 liters in our tank so we aren't going to have to fill up the tank anytime soon he can drive on another 3780 kilometers which is insane and yeah what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to drive on the left side of the road just because bother yeah about that anyway it's just two percent damage although two percent damage can be quite significant This is 
180 kilometer highway. Oh. One thing I might want to do is change the steering sensitivity. Oh. Yep, yeah, I know. I know. To rest in one hour, 36 minutes. We'll get there in 36 minutes. I wonder if there is a point, once I do pick up the load, is there a point to, yeah, maybe right there. Possibly right there, all depends. Wipers aren't fast and slow, they are just uh, either continuous or intermittent. I wonder why they look a little bit slow. And yeah. do any extra exploration I think I want to go this way and then that way seriously <laughs> yeah we'll do that percent damage ouch 
yeah, I need to be more careful. This is not the right place. All right. Oh. Is next door. <laughs> All right. Income of thirteen hundred. One dollars from driver Isabel M. That's nice. Although I'd like to definitely get her doing some longer distance deliveries. She does only have one point of long distance. Everyone else has three points. I have four points, so I can drive a little bit further. I can make a nice bit of money. Heavy metals from Glasgow to Malmo, $39,775. And offer expires in one hour. All right, let's take the job. I did play a fair bit of American Truck Simulator. Oh, that was last night. Oh. Let's couple it. All right, so where are we, Holland? All right, we that. to need to head up to the service center. On the one hand, we will be able to discover that uh, <laughs> small section of road. That's a good thing. To repair our truck, four thousand. <laughs> I was only at like two percent damage. Wow, eight hundred dollars to the engine, two thousand to the chassis. Yeah, this would be like maybe three hundred or four hundred in American truck. Let's repair. Oh. <gasps> uh, uh. And now, 48 minutes until we need to rest. I need to get out of this town. So, I want 
to head this way. Yep. Yeah, there will be a little bit of road there. Um, we are going to want to go through Carlisle. So something like that. We are going to want to... Oh, that's right. Now, I could take that. No, I want to discover that. Although I'm thinking... Nope, nope, I'm going to do that. Then over here, we are going to... I discovered that. Well, there's a little bit there I haven't... We're going to go this way. And what is that there? Anyway. All right, that goes down through there. We are not taking that. In through Odense. Actually, before we do, is there anything over here to discover? Not really. Over here, uh, we have probably a recruitment agency. And then like that, that should be good. And then cross here over to Copenhagen. And we are going to want to do something like that. Oh, wow. <laughs> and then to Malmo. All right, so I've already discovered the recruitment agency and a dealer if it's here. If I go like that, that would actually be probably better. Yep, 1,432 kilometers, trip time, 32 hours, 12 minutes. That is our destination, and we'll be discovering Odense, Copenhagen, and Carlisle along the way. That's what I'd like to see. Eight minutes and green light. At least when we're in the city, yeah, I know. At least when we're in the city, we time goes slow. closest right here okay that is probably where I'm going to be taking my rest break oh, speed cameras all right so yeah the for some reason, it looks like the speed camera is backwards. Unless over here in England, you only have like your license plates on the back. And uh, so having, uh, so for instance, you don't have license plate on the front of the vehicle. So a speed camera that uh, Seriously, get off my thank you. So a speed camera that points towards oncoming traffic would not be relevant. It wouldn't actually catch the uh, speeder's license plate. Let me know down in the comments if you know why those speed trap cameras would be actually backwards or if they actually are backwards. minutes before we have to take a rest. Oh, 
I don't want to be in the right lane. Yeah, please do not go dark on me. Press the anti-falling engine, stop the engine, and rest. And 3,122 from Stella Z. We got 5,591 from Andre. We have 1,497 from Isabel M. Anything else? Nope. We're up to 31,000. 123 euros. We make 39,000 from this one. I think we have a $50,000 bank loan. Extra rest stop in 10 hours, 57 minutes. Remains 54, 24. So we'll be taking this all the way down to Carlisle. There are no on-ramps or off-ramps that we have to worry about. Just right there. Service center there. Okay. And yeah, I was doing some calculations with uh, my American truck turn off the wipers with my American truck series and the interest that you actually pay on the loans and it is relatively insignificant the vast amount of the payment actually comes out of the, the principal amount and you're paying very little for the actual loan interest so doing what I've been doing and you know getting a $50,000 loan in order to pay off the $100,000 loan just to avoid an interest payment like we're talking on the $400,000 loan it is $71 or euros a day that you're paying interest on oh, let's uh, get over because I don't want to be behind that slow traffic and yeah for a $400,000 loan paid over 70 days you're paying about 5,000 and something euros or dollars on the loan <laughs> and it worked out to be about 70 71 dollars a day which is relatively insignificant when you really consider it it's not like I really have to work to pay it off it's not like we're paying a couple hundred dollars a day in interest payments just the interest alone yeah, something like the 5700 of the loan is, uh, what is it? Yeah, the principal. Speed cameras, although it doesn't seem like we are really getting up to speed. There we go.
wait a minute. 31... <laughs> Thirty-one thousand dollars is what I have in the bank right now. I'm looking over, I'm like, that's not how much I'm making for this delivery. Nope. I'd have to be on this screen in order to uh, see what I'm making from it. All right. Time of arrival in Malmo will be about Wednesday at 2.50 in the afternoon, although with that said, that estimated time of arrival does not count the ferry rides, as far as I'm aware. So yeah, that's a thing. Anyway, at this point I'd like to say thank you for joining me for this episode of Euro Truck Simulator 2. Thank you for watching. My name is Scott for SP Gaming, and as always, have a good day.